What's good, y'all? Welcome to an episode of Buzz Boys. And um, earlier today, the Hornets, they made another move and acquired another member of the OKC Thunder. Well, a former member. Um, I'm not even going to pretend to know how to say his name. Um, his name is Poku. Um, Alexev Poku Pakasevsky. Like, uh, Poku, bro. Um, honestly, I, I, I love to sign him. Um, I think it's a low risk, high reward signing. And when we were in the midst of doing the trade, like his name was being thrown in there, especially once the salaries were off, he was kind of thrown in there as a trade filler and in, in some rumors, it didn't end up going that way. We got Bretons and Mitchich. Um, but I love this. I, you know, I'm glad we didn't trade for him because now you get him for free. And I honestly think he he's a player that still has a lot of upside who just got caught in the Thunder shuffle. I mean, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, this is a good team. And they're a young team. There's always going to have to be an odd man out. Um, and especially he fractured his shoulder or something. He fractured, he fractured his arm or shoulder um, this past summer. So... I mean, it's going to be hard to kind of come back and get your minutes back on a team where they're the number two seed in the West. I mean, you know, shit's working for them. It's going to be hard. Um, he's only played in 10 games this year for six minutes. Um, so, you know, people look at his stats. Oh, he's trash. Bro, just last year he was averaging eight points um, and shooting 37% from three. We need that. Eight points, thirty-seven percent from three, um, five rebounds, two assists, um, over a block a game. I mean, in twenty minutes, I'll take that. And I mean, that's an OKC. So you know, he could come here and blossom like everybody else has. Um, I mean, his career stats is pretty much like eight and five. I mean, that's pretty much where he's at. Um, his three point shooting in his rookie year and, and uh his sophomore year was low, you know, twenty eight percent. But that third year, you know, he made a major jump to thirty six, thirty seven percent. Um, I mean, I love that. Um, to me, this past year is an aberration. I'm not really looking at it too much in the depth. I mean, it's six minutes a game, and he's only played ten, and he's coming off an injury. I mean, it's garbage time minutes. It's, it's it's meaningless. I'm looking at last year's stats where he's actually playing um, to try to kind of make some type of judgment. Um, I mean, and I love it. I love it. I think it's a high risk, low reward. I mean, a low risk, high reward um, type of signing. You can't go wrong. Um, now, obviously, I feel like this means that JT Thor is out. Um, if you look at them, they got the same build. Um and it's like, I mean, Poku has the higher upside. I think they're both the same age. Uh, Poku's 22 years old, seven foot tall. I mean, a former, you know, not a lottery pick, but he was, you know, first round pick, pick 17 in 2020. Um, and uh, it looks like players from the Thunder have kind of worked so far. So um, we'll see what happens with the roster. Um but, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Well, I guess the guy on the 10-day would probably get cut first. But, yeah. But, yeah, I guess we'll just cut the guy on the 10-day. So, yeah. I guess that's probably what we'll actually do. Um, But, yeah, man, I'm happy with the signing. I'm going to keep this video short and sweet. It's really just trying to get this out before our game starts. Um, I would have did the video earlier, but I thought that we played at 7. And I didn't want to try to, you know, be trying to do it so close. But we played at 8, so I had some time. Um, so I just wanted to go ahead and get this video out. Um, I'm gonna drop some links in the bio so y'all can watch him. Um, he's a good player, man. He had a triple double, um, versus the Suns last year. Um, he had a 16 and 14 game versus the Celtics last year. I mean, you don't do stuff like that against good teams and you can't play, bro. Like, I mean, I I, I think he's a good player, man. I'm a. Hey, the upside is there. I mean, we're talking about players that are 22 years old. Okay, it didn't work out at OKC. I mean, look at their roster right now. You know what I'm saying? I mean, Chet Holmgren comes in. I mean, where's the minutes for him? You know, they kind of got 
you know, that point forward, skinny, long type build. Um, and I think just trying to come back from injury, the minutes were just gone for him. I mean, you know, six minutes a game to me ain't nothing. Um, and stuff like that, it throws players out of whack. And, um, I mean, it's garbage time minutes. I mean, look at his shooting splits. He's down to 25%, 18% for three. What is that shit? You know, it's garbage time. It's literally when OKC's blowing somebody out, and that's when he comes in. He literally played against the Hornets um, earlier this month. You know, game's over with, and he comes, you know. So it's going to be interesting to see, can he get minutes on this team? Whose minutes does he take? Um, it's going to be interesting. But I want him out there on the floor. I mean, he's averaging a block a game um, pretty much every year that he's been in the league. Um, and if he's somebody who can space the floor for us, and, and I mean, he's he's creative in transition. Like, I think he's somebody who could get minutes on his team. If you can be playing for the Thunder these last few years, you can play for us, bro. Um, so, yeah, I, I love the signing, man. Y'all comment down below how y'all feel. Um, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Keep it short and sweet because um, we got a game in, in about an hour. So um, go ahead, just get this out real quick. I'm going to, you know, be playing some highlights throughout. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to drop the links down below so y'all can go and watch them Celtics and Suns highlights. Um, other than that, you know, I haven't pretend to watch them. I'm not going to pretend like I was watching them. I don't really watch OKC basketball. Um, so, hey, y'all make y'all judgment to me. Fire, fire pickup, fire pickup. I mean, I don't see who else on the market was better to go and get at the time. Um, and I like this Hornets ownership group, man. They're showing that, hey, they're willing to try stuff. We haven't been willing to do that these past few years. And that's all we've been asking for as fans. Like, can y'all just try to do something to see if it works? We don't try to do shit. And uh, these new owners come in and talking about they wanted a, a, a new, brand new, big um, practice facility to be separate from the stadium, then the stadium renovation. So if they're willing to pour money into this franchise, you know they're going to pour money into the roster. It's honestly all good signs pointing towards the future, man. And uh, we got some good news tonight for the game. Oh, man, this made me reminisce on doing the matchup previews. If you've been on this channel for a long time, you know, I used to do a matchup preview before every game. I used to do a matchup preview and I used to do a post game. Um, so uh, Bretons is active to play tonight. Seth Curry is active to play tonight. So um, that's very good signs. And um, Hopefully we can hold our own against the Bucks. I'm not going to count us out. You know, we've beat this team in years past. Almost every year we beat them at least one time. Um, but we won the season series with them, I think, two years ago. Um, so, I, you know, it wouldn't shock me if we were able to, to, you know, beat them one of these two times, especially at home. Um, so, yeah, man, I'm expecting a competitive game, win or lose, just compete, and that will make me happy, man. Anyways, I'll catch y'all later tonight. Peace.